So, all right. So, I'm going to talk to you guys about this, okay? See, inner game really does affect everything. And this basically is the psychological dialogue you have going on with yourself. So, let's talk about what we have a problem with in this corner of the internet, right? What What is the number one thing everybody wants in this corner of the internet? Why did you come to find me? The 30 seconds on the clock. Put it in the chat. Tell me. Why? Why did you come here? What is the number one reason that led you to come watch me? Let's see. What does the chat have to say? Women. Here we go. Poon, girls, crypto, game, growth. Come on, to girls, money and game. Alex, is that you? Is that, is that cigarette smoking Alex out there in Cali? I need help the girl game, marking money. Learn some helpful man shit. Peace, mindset, girls, 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 girls. There we go. You have funny commentary. Thank you, Justin. Boats and hoes, that's great too. Frame. Because you're a pretty man. Thank you, Vandy. I have been told I've been, I'm have been i a pretty man by both men and women. Let's be honest. Why are you guys here? Why did we come here? S-E-X. Right? You guys all want sex, right? We want plenty of sex. We want sex with who we want, when we want it. That's what we want, right? So, um, that's what you guys are here for. Now, here's what happens, okay? We start off here. This is where I start off as well, okay? We want sex, right? Why? Okay, two parts. Really. Pleasure, obviously. Sex is fantastic. I had some sex today. And the second part here is validation. Okay? We want validation, right? Let's be honest, how many of you guys have fucked a girl that you weren't that interested in, but she was really hot, and you're like, okay, I just want to fuck her to go show my friends, be like, yo, look at this bitch I fucked. She is so hot. And your friend's like, dude, Raymond, you're the man. Vandy, you're the fucking pimp. Riley, you're the fucking, you're the, you're the man, bro. Brent, you're fucking hot to the ear, dude. Right? Validation. So, thing is, with the validation part of it, right? You see, there's two parts of validation. And sex is one of the parts. And this is called external validation. Okay. Now, with external validation, we are getting something from the outside externally to make us feel good internally, right? And this goes to this is like us here, right? And the inside here is our little broken game. So we constantly get external validation to make us feel good. But external validation only lasts for a little bit, okay? And then not only does external validation last for a little bit, but you're also going to eventually need more and more 
and more external validation to get you the same feeling that you did the first time around. It's very similar to like drugs or alcohol, right? Who remembers the first time you took a shot of rum, right? You took one shot. You're like, oh my God, I'm trashed for the night. Next day, okay, maybe I need a shot and a half. Maybe I need three shots. Your tolerance builds up. You're going to continuously need the external validation to kind of give you the temporary high so you can forget the, the pain that you have internally for needing this validation in the first place. Does that make sense? Um, so that being said, this is what I notice this happens in this corner. Okay. Guys, they weren't sex. They, they want sex. Why? Pleasure, obviously, and then validation. So they get the external validation and they constantly have to like feed themselves endlessly with this external validation, which is endless, endless amount of sex, right? So, but what happens in the meantime, okay? Here are the side effects. Here's the side effects of tons of sex plus broken inner game, right? We're going to have to erase this here. Let me make some space. Let's put me over here. Let's just cover me up. I'm not that important, right? For now. So, this is more important. The lesson's more important, okay? So, let's talk about that, right? What happens? STDs, okay? Um, jaded. You just believe all girls are sluts and all girls are whores and no good women are out there. And they're all just cheating sluts ready to fucking, it's not your turn. It's, it's not, she's not yours, it's just your turn. And she's just a fucking slut, bro. Okay? Um, loss of time. Loss of money. Loss of health. Okay, I mean, it goes on and on and on. There could be pregnancy. There could just be endless, endless amount of trouble that come out, right? So, this is the, 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 the thing I notice happening with these guys, right? For example, right, I see this when I was in, in Colombia with uh, this David Bond kid, right? Two guys that I just know fundamentally don't really understand what makes a woman tick. Um, more so, um, they're more so, how do you say, like basically high-level beta providers, quite frankly, right? Because uh, their money and their resources are a big part of why the women are with them, okay? So it's gotten to the point now with those two guys that they are needing not just one woman to satisfy them, but now they need to live with a bunch of women. And they have to take on this like unnecessary stress and burden of multiple women living with them just to get the same high as they did when they first started off just with one girl, right? It's not a coincidence that both of these guys have openly talked about having a broken household and a broken family in their past and which led to them being like kind of socially awkward and retarded. So, this is what you got to do. This is what happens, right? So, you have to understand first. First of all, not being able to get sex is already a pretty red flag in itself. Because as a man, naturally, you should be able to understand getting your sex, being with a girl, being able to hook up. It's like pretty normal. But a lot of people are just so fucked up these days that it's just like they're truly clueless, right? So we have here, right? So we have broken dude wants sex. Learns 
game. Okay? My God, it's so bad. Look at me, Mr. Perfectionist. Okay. Get X. Still feels empty, broken, gets more sex. Doesn't understand women beyond seduction. Feels empty. Woman. Leaves and broke dude wants sex. You see that? Oh shit, I'm covering myself over here. There we go. Just for the sake of, le of learning this, okay? Okay? You see the cycle here? So this is how they come into the manosphere. Broken dude wants sex. Learns game. If this is if he's lucky enough to learn game. This year is if he's lucky, right? Get sex, right? So broken dude wants sex, learns game, and this if he's lucky enough to learn game. Because some guys just sit on sidelines forever. Get sex, still feels empty slash broken, thinks the solution is to get more sex, so he gets more sex, doesn't understand women beyond seduction, feels empty. Woman leaves. Why? Because he truly doesn't understand women. Because if you really understand women, you can keep her around for like years and years and years on end. Like it really shouldn't be a problem. Okay. And it goes back to broken dude wants sex because he's alone again. Learns game. Blah, blah, blah. And this is what happens. This is what happens. Okay. And in the meantime, what are the side effects of this? Well, I thought you'd never ask. Let's go up here. And I see this happen all the time. All the fucking time. Side effects. Wasted time is the number one. Okay? Wasted money. Wasted health, right? Got to go out and drink, eat all the fried food, whatever you be doing on your dates. Okay? Wasted health. Ultimately, wasted life. Okay? Wasted emotions. Because, you, you know, if, if you're broken, that's another thing, too. Broken people attract broken people. Or if the relationship is broken on one side and not broken on the other one, eventually the broken party will sabotage the relationship. Okay? Wasted time, wasted money, wasted health, wasted life, wasted emotions. Okay? Again, like I said, STDs, jaded heart, And a generally unhappy life. I'll be honest with you. Now, when it comes down to it, right, womanizing and shit is fun for a while. It is very fun for a while. But eventually, you're just pushing rope. You know what I mean? Eventually, this will catch up to you. And next thing you know, you're living in a dirty, stinking favela 
with a bunch of whores. <laughs> or you're in Colombia babysitting a literal gaggle of whores <laughs> just to keep up with your broken self-esteem and your broken internal game. Again, broke dude, broken dude wants sex, learns game, gets sex, still feels empty, broken, gets more sex, doesn't understand women beyond seduction. That's another thing, right? How many of these PUA guys actually are able to keep like a long-term relationship around? How many of these guys can actually keep a girl interested, especially when the money's uh, no longer involved there? Think about that.